Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a general reading. However, I post new readings on Monday and Friday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. I've also been doing some Wednesday bonus readings. They're not on any particular Wednesday. So if you don't mind hitting the like button, I appreciate it because it helps get this reading into the algorithm. But based on my own market research, I've also found when I subscribe to a channel, but I never like their videos, they eventually will disappear out of my algorithm. So if you've got an interest in those Wednesday readings, that'd also be a good way to be in the know when those pop up. All right, what advice do you have for Scorpio, please? What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio, messages for Scorpio. Whew. Alrighty, we are going to lay out the tarot here. And then we'll pull a Moonology Manifestation Oracle card. These have already been shuffled for your convenience. I like that one a lot, finding a match. You've got the Two of Swords, Justice, Blind Justice, I just heard. The Ten of Pentacles, The Lovers. Temperance, two archangels, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. This is really glorious. And the Knight of Wands. Well, you have Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini is here, but it's just as fantastic. Earth, fire, water, and air, all the elements. I just am drinking this in. There's something about it that's really great. Now, you do have two twos. Twos are about partnerships. So if you had one end, and even if it's um, an end with a job, you've got such a glorious, beautiful new beginning, you're not going to be missing a beat here. I like this a lot if we were going to kind of pull some cards. I like the Ten of Pentacles too, but there's something about this to me. It's like you've got a beautiful, blessed, blissful, brand new beginning, all right? It's not a, just a beginning either. This has staying power. This runs the distance for you. So again, the Archangel Michael and Raphael here. And so you'll be feeling like you're protected, you're being guided. So pay, pay attention to your intuition too, big time in this energy. So let's see here. I believe it was like this. Is that right? Something like this. It doesn't really matter exactly in the, um, I actually think it was like this here. Yeah, I do know it was like that. Okay. Um, with the, the, let's get back to this before I go too far. New moon and Leo shine. So the sunflowers in the tarot are symbols of finding a match. And look at all these. They're an energetic symbol because when the sun is out, they point towards the sun. But when the sun goes down, they point towards one another because they are, they're magnetic. Okay. They're magnified. They're energetically linked. So I also feel like too, if a relationship ended, you do have a new beginning and it's one that you've been manifesting and guess what? They're manifesting you too, Scorpio. So I do feel like you have a new beginning here and it's going to deliver more than you thought you could have. There's more than you thought you could have, they keep saying. So this two of swords, let's get out of this. You see how the, the arms block the heart? That's not good to be, to, to allow new opportunities. That doesn't help. Because the heart is blocked. And when the heart isn't open, we can't receive. But I understand we go through life much like an accordion with the heart opening and closing because life hurts us. And we go, never mind, I'm shutting down. Here's the close sign. Closed for business. Go somewhere else. But then we got to get back open. We can't stay like this forever and be in joy. They're not compatible roommates. So there's something here too that I feel like perhaps there was a lesson or information that you're not seeing or even a new beginning that you in this energy can't see. And so it's time to put down the swords. The bottom sword is fear. The top sword is anger. So that top sword, if you found that you've made preemptive strikes, right? You don't want somebody to get close to you because you're scared. Or perhaps it's something with a job and you stay with a job or you've stayed with it a little too long. And there's something about this preemptive striking business. But I do feel like justice is actually gonna help out a lot with that. Because what justice will do is help to right the wrongs. And a lot of times when we're in this energy, it's because we've been burned. And so it's protect mode. It's not, it's not an aggressive stance at all. It's purely protective. But with this justice energy, 
you'll find that things seem to come into balance. And it's also too though, a time of making choices very carefully. So I do feel like it helps to ease you out of the two, two of swords or if it's somebody that you've met and you're interested in them, but they're kind of guarded, I feel like they're gonna get open. And so this is all about weighing options, making better choices. And so for some, it can also be an apology and, and, and a reminder that, you know, we won't have to apologize if we're able to be in relationships in a way that, you know, is treating the other person right. Now, it could also be somebody apologizing to you. If somebody closed a door on you, I feel like they may come back around. They may also m remark on karma. Like they think it's could this, something happened to them and they think it's karma and it could be, I guess, but I always think of that as past life. So it may not have anything to do with you, but in their mind it does. So you may also have somebody who tries to write things with you. But I want to say with this one, it's what goes around comes around. And so when we act with integrity and we treat people and we're up front and straightforward and we treat them in, with integrity, then we'll find that that's who we attract. So the Ten of Pentacles is also too justice being served with money. So if you're owed money, I do feel like you're going to have it. I also feel like you may be owed money that you're not aware of. All right, if there's some kind of an old account from a job that you had where you didn't realize there was some sort of investment account because they didn't, it feels like justice too, like they didn't do a good job explaining things, benefits and what was available to you. I also feel like with this 10 of pentacles though, any job that you get, you're gonna get more money than you thought you were. You're gonna get paid more with this. It's lots of opportunities to make money showing up here. So especially with the Ace of Pentacles, these two are called the Pip cards, not just these two, but the between the Ace and the Ten are the Pip cards. You have it coming full circle. You have the completion of a cycle. You have a new beginning that is going to help you. I hear it hit pay dirt. Okay, I feel like they're saying you're going to make money. But if it's something where you work for yourself too, I definitely feel like with this, it's going to be lucrative. And it's going to be like the right people show up, the right resources. There's nothing lacking. Well, you're not having those thoughts of if this would happen, then I would. This is like it's happening. It's right here. Everything is well within reach. If you are moving too, I feel like they the previous owners or there may be something if it's a new build where they offer you more than you thought. Like here, we'd like to throw in this landscaping or we're going to throw in irrigation or somebody made a mistake and ordered, you know, too many cabinets. We're going to fi finish your basement, that kind of stuff and put those in that sort of thing where you go, God, that was lucky, but it's your alignment. So you're out of the two of swords for sure when you're in the 10 of pentacles. So you have the temperance energy, the life gets restored, balance gets restored to your world here. It's thriving in change. And so like very much like justice too, if somebody did you a bad turn, I do feel like they come back around trying to apologize and you can take what you want out of that. The Archangel Michael here is known for protection, safety, and security, but he's also known for repairing situations. And sometimes that can even be equipment that breaks. So if you do run a business and you've had, had some dead ends, I don't see that as continuing to, continuing to affect you. On a more spiritual level though, this Archangel is all about being in flow with the universe. And it's telling you too that sometimes we have a path that's not completely linear. linear. We take twists and turns and we keep going and we learn lessons but it's all part of the deal of being here. So I also feel like too, in terms of love, you have a beautiful love story showing up here with the lovers and the Archangel Raphael. This Archangel is the matchmaker of the tarot, but it's also too associated with physical healing and matters of personal health. So in terms of, of the card itself, it's choices, yes. And some of you with temperance and the lovers, there also may be choices that you're making about your own personal health. If something's too stressful and you say, I can't continue in this because I feel like it's affecting me even on a health level, you'll make a decision to move forward without it, all right? If there's something that's really dragging you down. Um, he also is known to watch out for travelers too. So if you are making a new beginning and you're moving, I do feel like you're going to have that extra little feeling of security and support in this energy. Now, as far as love relationships, there's nothing better. You've got a complete match. So for some with the two of cups and the lovers, if you've had 
some kind of, and really the temperance card too. If you've had something that got out of balance in a relationship, you come back together here. You're meant to be. It's worth the investment. Others of you, though, it'll be right, right from the start. All right. This is the kind of love that grows, that evolves. And there's not, you know, there's not a pushing against. It's not if this was at a different time, you're finding a match here. So whoever this is that you're lined up and matched up with, it's an energetic match as well. Sometimes the problem is we're an energetic match with low vibrational equipment, but not with these two. So I do feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, it is high vibrational. This is like a new opportunity, a new, if it's a job or a career or even a housing move, a new opportunity that you'll be with for a long, long time. This one can feel a bit like luck. So like I said, where somebody makes a mistake and you benefit from it, but it doesn't hurt them either, especially when it's corporate America and they say, hey, we have some extra, or you go through the you know drive through and they say, we made some extra coffees. Would you like these? And you take them to work and you're everybody's hero for the morning, right? You know? It's that kind of stuff where you just seem to come into being in the energy of receiving. So expect the unexpected, but expect to receive with this. So that two of cups, you've got a total match. I heard they're a total babe. Um, so with this, if it is somebody new in your life, I do feel like you'll be um, you'll be attracted to them. Okay, it's not like um, something. I keep thinking of that show. Have you ever seen Love It? I think it's Love at First Sight where these people have to get married in 30 days. Maybe that's not the name of it. But either way, some of them, there's one that got married and they were not attracted to each other. Not this, okay? This is not that. This is actually being attracted to the person. But it's also feeling like yourself. You don't have to, you don't, you feel immediately comfortable in this energy. So whatever it is that you're asking about, not only do you feel immediately comfortable, but you're also inspired to move forward. So if you've had any kind of hold up or delay, that's not continuing. This has everything moving forward. You're in lockstep as you go forward here with that Knight of Wands. So let's see now what Scorpio needs to know. What else does Scorpio need to know from your angels? Messages, please, for Scorpio. Advice. For Scorpio, please. You've got remain positive. I should say so. And peaceful resolution. So those that need healing and repair, it's coming. Let it go and let it flow. We got to let go of the past. Not the right time. Let's see. But they give you a yes. So for some, it may be about going on a new path. If you're waiting for repair in a situation, it may be about moving forward in other areas and let, letting that come naturally. Good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.